Hey guys, continuing my series on mental health during exam times, in this video we are going to look at what happens if you fail. Every single year, around exam results time, the predictable bunch of celebrities tweet out things which are really, really unhelpful, like, I failed all of my GCSEs and look at my big fat car. That That's really unhelpful, thank you, why? Why did you even bother doing that? They're literally just doing it to show off. Um, but I know lots of you are feeling stressed because of, well, because you think you might fail, because of this potential fear of failure. So in this video, we are going to look at some actual failures and then what you can do about them or how you might be feeling about failing and what you can actually do about it. A thing that I hear lots and lots is that my parents are going to kill me. They are not actually going to do that. If we look at this from a purely logical point of view, um, your parents will get in a lot of trouble for killing you. Um, they will probably go to jail and the statistics for parents, grown-ups, uh, killing children based on exam results is actually very, very, very low. Um, I can say they're very low. Um, I haven't actually looked that statistic up. I will endeavour to do that before I edit this video. Um, the chances of your parents actually killing you if you fail your exams are very, very low. Um, your parents will get into a lot of trouble for this. And believe it or not, your parents actually like you. Um, I know it may not have come across very much um, as they've been nagging you for exams or shouting at you about doing this or doing that, but your parents really, really do like you. They love you. They are not going to kill you if you fail your exams. They may, however, be a bit disappointed in you. Um, and that's fear of disappointing your parents can sometimes be a paralysing fear when we are trying to find the motivation to revise. Now, this may be the first time in your life that you've had to tell your parents something, your grown-ups at home something, that disappointed them. I hate to break it to you, but you are not a perfect little angel. There will be something that happens in the future which you do which disappoints your parents. Um, and sometimes it can be like, the earlier you disappoint your parents, then the better. That, that's not actually a very good, helpful thing for me to say. But there will be, at some point in the future, something you do which really, really disappoints your parents and will really, really upset them. Um, I know this sounds like a weird thing for me to say, but it's the truth. Um, your parents have these expectations of you, they're probably very, very high expectations of you, and you are not going to meet them all of the time. Um, so disappointing your parents is something that you will do at some point in your life. However, we shouldn't let it stop us from revising. You might not get the grades to get on to the course that you want to, whether it's the A-level course that you want to, or whether it's the university course that you want to, you just might not get the grades. And that is a reality, you might not get the grades. And what we want to think about is the plan that you have in your head at the moment. This, you know, you've picked your courses, you've picked your A-levels, you've picked your college, you've picked your university, based on a plan that you have in your head for how your future, for how your life is going to turn out. And that's just one pathway that you could go down. There were lots of other pathways that your life could take. And at the moment when you've got the exams, the exam results in front of you and you've failed, and you're not going to be able to take the steps down the pathway that you envisage for yourself, it can be absolutely devastating. But a different pathway will open up. This is not the end of everything. You just don't know it yet. Now this different pathway, it could be better, it could be worse, but it's a different pathway and you don't know what that is at the moment. So why don't you just go and try and find it? Why don't you go and have a look at what might actually happen if you fail your results? Say you need A's or 9's and you don't get them. So you don't get onto the college course that you want to. Well, 
go and have a look for a different college course. Go and have a look at the clearing website and the different universities that you can go to. Some of them might be different, some of them might be more endurable. You may not think it at the time, but you might meet your best friend or the love of your life on this course. If you don't get to travel the path that you've envisioned, the path that you may have dreamed about ever since you were a child, it does not mean that it is all over. It just means that you don't know what path you're going to be going down. You might be worried about opening your exam results in front of your friends and them laughing at you if you failed or you didn't get the right exam results. I'm sorry, if your friends laugh at you for your exam results, they are not your real friends and honestly you're better off without them. Chances are they're going to be haters, they're going to be the people that say negative things, they're going to be the people that undermine you, they're going to be the people that say sly things which on the face of it sound like a compliment but you know from the way they said it, it really wasn't. Like, mmm, that's a nice dress you're wearing today. They don't actually think it's a nice dress, they're being a little bit of a bitch. You are better off without these people in your life. And if you don't want to open your exam results in front of other people, then don't. Either wait and get them in the post a couple of days later or the next day, or just say to your friends, I don't want to open them in front of you, I don't want to open them in front of anyone, I want to open them on my own, and take them home and open them on your own. If they are your real friends, they will respect you for this. Some of you have a lot of pressure being placed on you to live up to what your older siblings did or what your parents did, the, the legacy expectations that all of your parents went to university, so you have to too, and your brother's just got into Cambridge and your sister's just got into Oxford and you have to go to a fancy university as well. You are your own person. You do not have to do what other people expect you to. You do not have to live up to expectations that other people have imposed on you. This is your life. You are the one that has to live it, not other people. And you shouldn't have to live your life by the expectations that other people have imposed upon you. You shouldn't have to become a doctor because your grandparents are doctors and your parents are doctors and your older brothers and sisters are doctors because it is a really, really hard life. I know that I would much, much rather have happier kids who had okay jobs than kids that were really fancy doctors and made loads and loads of money but were miserable and never got to have any fun. So this is probably a really depressing video because I talked about failing a lot. But what I want you to do is to think about why you're scared of failure and then try and break that down. Think about what would happen if you actually did fail. You might go down a different path. You're probably not going to be murdered, I hope. Um, and you can live your own life. So good luck guys. This is a horribly stressful time of year. Um, and I am going through all of this with you. I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.